Hello everybody and welcome. I am Dr. Luigi Vorluni. In this video lesson, we will be talking about atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a cardiovascular disease that results from a buildup of fatty material on the inside of the arteries that restricts blood flow and also causes a hardening of the artery walls. The risk factors of atherosclerosis include hypertension, that is high blood pressure, smoking, dietary factors such as the amount of cholesterol, saturated fat and sugar, excessive alcohol intake, obesity, lack of exercise, genetics and age, and gender, and in the male is more common. There are four stages to the development of atherosclerosis, and these include damage to the endothelium, inflammatory response, atheroma formation, and plaque formation. Let's see these stages in more details. The endothelium is the layer of cells lining the lumen of the artery. The endothelium is damaged by a number of risk factors, principally high blood pressure, and chemicals in tobacco smoke. Atherosclerosis occurs in arterial and veins because in arteries the blood flows fast and at high blood pressure, so damage to the endothelium is more likely, and this initiates the inflammatory response. As we will see shortly, when the level of LDL cholesterol is high, it accumulates in the artery walls, leading to atherosclerosis development. However, the damage to the endothelium facilitates the accumulation. Let's see the inflammatory response. And in order to facilitate understanding, I have simplified the concepts and graphics. The blood carries a large variety of substances, including low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, also known as LDL bad cholesterol. Now let's focus on the inflammatory response occurring in the artery walls. LDL cholesterol binds to the LDL receptors and is absorbed through endocytosis. However, when the level of LDL cholesterol is high, it exceeds the regulatory capacity and crosses the endothelia barrier. It starts to accumulate and becomes oxidized because of the free radicals present in the blood vessels. Subsequently, white blood cells, in particular monocyte, migrate to the area through chemotaxis, which is a chemical stimulation from the damaged cells. Monocytes then leave the lumen through the process of diapedesis. In response to stress signals, monocytes then transform into macrophages and engulf oxidized LDL through endocytosis. The oxidized LDL accumulates in the macrophages, and as a result, macrophages become fat-filled from cells and form an atheroma. The atheroma narrows the artery lumen, restricts blood flow, and increases resistance to flow. Over time, chemicals released by the white blood cells stimulate the proliferation of connective tissue as smooth muscles under the endothelium. Fat deposit become impregnated with calcium salts, causing the plaque to become calcified. This hardens the plaque causing the artery wall to become less elastic, hence the term hardening of the arteries or atherosclerosis. The narrowing of the artery lumen causes an increase in blood pressure that can further damage the endothelium, resulting in more plaque formation. This is a positive feedback effect. If the plaque ruptures, platelets come into contact with the underlying tissue and calcium deposits, stimulating the formation of a blood clot or thrombus. This can restrict or prevent blood flow through the vessel, and thus starving an organ or tissue of oxygen and nutrients. If this happens to the coronary arteries, causes an ischemia or heart attack, 
while if this happens to the artery carrying blood to the brain, causes a stroke. A number of interventions can be implemented to reduce the risks of developing atherosclerosis, and these include increasing the physical activity, such as walking, running or cycling, and have a healthy diet, and these factors contribute to lowering cholesterol and fats level, lose weight, decrease the incidence of developing diabetes, and lower blood pressure. Quitting smoking and improve the lifestyle are also important. Atherosclerosis treatments generally include statins to lower the level of LDL cholesterol, that is the bad cholesterol, blood pressure lowering drugs, anticoagulant drugs such as aspirin that are blood thinners, and also controlling diabetes. In some cases, surgery such as angioplasty and coronary artery bypass may be needed. In conclusion, atherosclerosis affects the arteries, restricting blood flow, which may lead to blood clotting, heart attack and stroke. Physical activity, a balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle are important factors to prevent this disease.